Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm starting off this vlog in this format instead. So you probably see like the cameras and the frame and everything around here. Um, so I've been away for a while, I'm not dead. <laughs> I just had a vacation. So this is a little bit, um, well, what can I say? Sorry about the delay. It's gonna be more content coming soon. So thanks everyone for sticking around. Now, as you see me in this format, you see a printer here. You see an empty spot here, you see some stuff here. And this, um, actually thanks to BCM, they sent me a care kit. So I actually got some of these nozzles, some PVA, some Colorfab XT uh, CF, so carbon fiber, as well as Filoflex and also Colorfab HT. But the most important part is that I want to do a, like a quick test for you guys today. I'm not going to be able to print anything, I hope. We'll see what the time gets later. But um, for this I need to have two Sigmas, um, which I do. So this is the old one, this is the new one. Today we're gonna try out some sound and see how much they differ when it comes to sound level. So um, yeah, let's just jump into it. But first I'm gonna show you exactly what came here in the boxes. All right, so just, let's just see here what we did get from the good guys over at Sigma. We did get some uh, PVA filament from Eason. We just put that to the side. We also got some from Recreus. Recreus? Not sure how to pronounce that. It's uh, Filaflex White. 500 grams, that's awesome. So now I don't have to experiment with semi-flex for you. Uh, we also got some Colorfab XTCF20. I've been using this uh, quite a lot before for the camera rig that, that you guys are on right now. You also get a pack of normal clear Colorfab HT, which you can see here. Well, that's awesome. But maybe to the most fun stuff, which is this here which is this kit here, the nozzles. So this is a super neatly packed box with a huge set of different nozzles. So you can identify them by the dots here. Now it's not really logical because the one dot here is a 0.3 millimeter. So if we just check this out here, let's see, can I zoom in? So there you see the different sizes. So one dot is 0.3, two dots are 0.4, four dots are 0.6, and 5.8 and 6 dots are 1 millimeter and then we have 3 dots which is a special. So if we just look at the special first, or actually we can, we can kind of open this up. So you get to see this. Ta -da -da. I think this is how we do it. Ah yes. We get it out here and we also get a um, Zip tie, no, hey. I, I never know what they're called in English, it's, sorry about that. But we get one of these hot ends, as you've seen me switch in one of the previous videos. But um, if we look at just a normal one, that's how that looked. If we then look at the special one, which is this one, it's also a little bit grayed out. Don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit grayed out in the design. And when we drag this one out, it has a stainless steel nozzle instead, which should make it much more um, re reliable for running carbon fiber, for example. So that's going to be awesome being able to test that with the color fab. So there you have the differences. And unfortunately, because it's so late, I'm not going to be able to start running with this. I think um, you, you just have to wait to the end of the video to, to see that. But right now, what we want to do is to check out the sound level difference here. So I'm going to set up a small um, like measuring studio. It's not going to be super professional, but I do want to get as a neutral environment as possible. So um, we're probably going to be, get rid of this, the mat here, and we're going to place one machine in the middle. Or yeah, we're going to place them next to each other. I have a sound like recording uh, app to me measure decibel with, with the phone. We'll try that in front of the left one and then in front of the right, running a few um, a few things. So just let's just test that. Now make sure that you put on your headphones, otherwise this won't sound as interesting. Oh, 
so that last step that you just heard where the machine were quiet uh, at the like normal speed that was noticeably much more quiet uh, let's see if I can re repeat that in the editing Alright, so that's all for this video, this vlog. Uh, it took quite a lot of time to set this up with the editing of the two machines, so hopefully that was helpful for you. And I think that as long as you had the hair, uh, earphones on, I think that was a really good application on like really seeing, uh, seeing but hearing the difference between the two machines. And I did try, uh, I did do a few models uh, with the one millimeter nozzle and I'm probably gonna continue doing that kind of stuff and mixing the both extruders with different diameters and so on so I'm not sure if I'm gonna include that in the vlogs or yeah I think that the vlog format is over for now and I'm probably gonna start doing like a little bit more instructional videos uh, and, and uh, a better project all in all so uh, unless you really really want me to continue with the vlogs I'll, I'll of course do that so just let me know down in the comments but I wanted to say that uh, this was a great experience, it was really fun. This is the last vlog, it's uh, number 9 in the series I think. And after this one I will of course have the final review of the unit, comparing it to the old one and everything. But uh, for now I think I need to start uh, working with uh, some other machines as well. So make sure that you, if I end up doing a vlog, make sure that you ring that bell button down below. And I'll show you now some of the time lapse and footage of the final prints. And with that said, I think I'll see you guys in the next maybe vlog or in the next video. So, bye.